Kaling kaling mo. Kaling. Oh, Deputy <coughs> Speaker sir, while welcoming the bill, I'd like to thank the government for introducing the Arunachal Pradesh Reorganization District Amendment Bill 2022. All the previous speaker has spoken very good of the bill. And we all know the district is created or is demand for the betterment of the area, for the convenience of the people, for the welfare of the people. Warsham was created way back in 2013. 10 years back from now. We, I mean the parent district, the East Young, were never against. We have been living together since ages. Only we had a few points we offered to the government, especially for Korang, the Pudapimoli data. Should be with the parents this thing is young. Due to the customary right, due to the traditional right. the governing right of the people of the area. Because the mansion places, the river, the forest, the mountain, the jhum cultivations, everything are at a still with the parent district. During NEFA days, say, I mean the Union Territories, we had only five districts. Kameng, Subansiri, Siang, Lohid, and Tila. But now we have 25. So what I feel is that creation of any new district should have some criteria, like number of population, areas. Otherwise, the new, new district will come on, people will demand, and creation will go on. And our togetherness will less. Oneness will be less. And Whoever demand for a new district should do some homework also, so that it should not always come to the government. Because we have seen in the lower young issues, ultimatum after ultimatum, the NGOs, the CBOs, the student organization has placed. When a government decides, you can satisfy the board. The government will go with the views of the representative, I mean the government, or maybe high power committees, CBOs, senior citizens, taking into consideration. So, what I feel, going for a new district, there should be some laid down rules. 
or maybe some standing committees. Whoever qualifies for it should go for a new district. Lying in the creation of this district, High Power Committee by the government, Drummond Row Committee was formed. Members were K.R. Mina, Indra Malo, Nidhi Srivastava, Pigaligu, 29 September in 2014. They met elected representative PRI members, NGOs, Gam Burais, and reported on 2015, their fact-finding report. And there were one more team, the group of ministers, was led by our Honorable Minister Kamlung Musangji as the chairman. And after that, Hage Tari Committee was formed. And seeing all the reports of committees, subcommittees, CBOs, I believe the government has taken a decision. which I named a few villages earlier, for giving administrative convenience of the area of Porang, Dapu, Dapu Moli, and Betak. <coughs> this is going to be a historic moment for both the parent district and the new district. For that, I'd like to appeal all other members to support this bill. And once again, I thank Honorable Chief Ministers and his cabinet team for introducing Ornatel Pradesh reorganizing of District Amendment Bill 2022. Thank you.